Hi there, welcome to Tech Overgo, all things great on tech for your home. Um, so today we're going to be looking at the Karcher tree lopper. So it's a cordless tree lopper, looks like this, uh, great for cutting branches. The first thing that you need to bear in mind if you do buy this product is what it actually says on the packaging, battery not included. So you will have to buy a separate battery. So this comes in a 2.5 volt and a 5 volt version. I'd suggest you buy the 5 volt, which is this one. It's more heavy duty, lasts about double the amount of time. It'll make sure you don't run out um, while you're cutting. It also usefully tells you the charge when you charge it up. Of course, it also doesn't come with a charger. So you're gonna need to buy one of these, which is the fast charger for this. This is quite common with the number of the um, cordless cutting products these days. Those of you who have uh, subscribed to this channel will have seen that uh, we did a review of the Ryobi one, the tree lopper. That was very similar. You had to buy the accessory separately. Same with the cartridge. So with this, uh, get the fast charger. It charges the battery much quicker. It looks like this. Uh, and it's an 18, uh, 18 volt uh, battery power charger. The battery just slides on to charge clicks in and it's like that. The one thing you will notice between this and the Ryobi one, which we reviewed previously, is that the build quality on this just seems significantly better. As I say on the battery itself, which just slides off like that, I do like the digital display on this, which you don't get on the Ryobi. And the build quality overall just seems a lot better than the Ryobi. The only downside is it weighs a bit more. So it weighs roughly about 0.8 kilos more than the Ryobi one. But as I say, the build quality you see it there, it just seems a lot better. The actual product itself is 91 centimeters long. So I think it is only a couple of centimeters longer than the Ryobi one. It's got a three centimeter or 30 mil cutting diameter on the top. Uh, you can use it to cut branches. You can use it to also cut smaller things like um, stems which are further out that you're reaching on plants so we'll give you a quick demo of that but the main purpose is to cut down uh, tree branches and other shrubbery so we'll give you a demo of that very shortly in terms of the actual um, assembly of this product it comes as it is the only assembly that you need to do is to attach this two screws onto there and that is for pulling back branches again it's the same as the Ryobi one in terms of when you're doing some cutting, if you want to pull down the branches that you've cut, if they haven't fallen down, that's quite useful to allow you to, to drag it down. Um, as you can see on the side of the side of the box, very easily for assembly of that plate. So that's the only assembly which you need to do with regard to this. In terms of attaching the battery, again, that is very simple. You just take this and just like the charger, you slide it on. It clicks in and you are ready to go. So with that having been done, let's take this out and see what you can do with it in terms of cutting. So we are going to tackle this with the Karcher tree lopper. As you can see, there's quite a significant amount of overgrowth which has come over my fence. Uh, so let's see how the tree lopper makes very light work of this. So we're ready to uh, attack this with the Karcher tree lopper. The best thing to do is firstly find the larger bit of the branches. So rather than just cutting these end bits, go to where the thick parts are, make sure that they can fit within the diameter of the cutting jaw, and then just put it in. You press the trigger, triggers over here. And when you press the trigger, look how easily that's cut. So that's the first branch down. Don't need any steps for that. Consider how quickly that's been done. Now we're going to go with the rest of it and let's see how quickly it takes us to deal with this. So we're now attacking this from the other side. There's again quite a lot of overgrowth here. And as you can see, rather than cutting these smaller branches, this easily fits within the mouth of the uh, tree lopper. So I'm going right into there and it makes very easy work of that. 
I'm just cutting the limbs off. And as you can see, that one's stuck in there. And this is where this hook comes in. So you can just pull it in there and pull it down. And that's what that hook features for. And you can also flip this around if it's easier for some of the grips, which it is for here. Use the hook again, pull that down. So one of the key things when you're doing this, in addition to making sure you're wearing gloves and you've got eyewear on, is clearing up the debris as it falls, which is what I've been doing and then approaching the cutting from different angles to make sure you've got the best positioning after you've freed up some of the space. So again, you're making the best use of the cuts for the thicker branches. So carrying that on here. And again, using the hook to just pull stuff down. So we're going to go for this one here. Right, as you can see, this one is quite a thick one. So check that it fits the diameter. Yes, it does. I'm pressed. And look, it's just taken that down very easily. Okay, that's made lightweight of that with the culture. And then if you have a look, it's only taking that 4% of battery and that's a sort of 20 minute, half an hour job. So good tool for doing that kind of pruning. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, feel free to subscribe for other tech overgo news. Thank you.